we're going to take a look at how to install BC Uninstaller that I wrote about in the column this week. It's a great replacement for Revo Uninstaller, which is also another great application. But they charge. BC Uninstaller is free, and I think it does just as good of a job. So let's look at how to install it. I've put these six programs on a new computer that I built just to show you. And we're going to install one of them to start with. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up Edge because it's a browser of choice here. And it's going to tell us some new things because, like I said, this is a new build. And we're going to type in bcuninstaller.com. Stands for Bulk Crap Uninstaller. So enjoy it. So you can install it from either of these locations. I'll just grab the second one. What the heck? And I'm going to hit download and let it go. It will download shortly. And there it goes. I'll speed up a few of these things that take a little too long. And then once it's finished, which it is now, I'm just going to open up the download folder. And this night night zip I've written about before. Uh, that's what installed all these programs real quickly for me. But now I'm going to double click BC Uninstaller and let it go to work. I'm going to say yes, English. Uh, standard installation is fine. I accept the agreements. It's going to install all my C drive program files and say next. Do I want extra languages? Not really. Just English is all I need. So I'll uncheck that. Save a little bit of space. Not a lot, but some. You can choose to add other languages if you wish by leaving that checked. So there we go. Next. It's going to call it this. Next. I'm going to tell it to create a desktop shortcut. Next. Install. Let it rip. And keep in mind again, these six programs we're going to uninstall sooner or later. I'm going to say I don't care about viewing it. Let's launch it. Now this takes a little longer to launch than Revo Uninstaller. So it's looking for all the apps that are installed on this computer, which aren't many. But it takes a little longer to start. Here we go. This is when you first start, and I'm just going to say select language default, which is English. I'm going to say apply. Starts over again after it starts that up. Here we go. Continue. Uh, I'm just going to take all the defaults. Continue, continue, continue. Finish setup. Welcome. Don't show this again. I don't care about it. So, here are apps that we are going to take a look at. Now, there's only one option I would say to select. See this? Select using checkboxes. Notice, like, let's look at 7-Zip right here. I could click it and then say uninstall, but I'd rather hit a checkbox. So I'm going to say select using checkboxes, and it puts a little box so I can select it. So I'm going to uninstall that first. Now notice, here it is on my desktop. I'm going to select it. I'm going to say uninstall. Uninstall quietly. I've tried. It really doesn't add a lot of dimension to the program. Uh, so I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to say uninstall, and we'll wait for it to get started. It says, here's a program you want to install. Quiet. Nah, I'm going to let it do it noisily. Intelligent sort, you can do that by it'll install the largest first or the smallest first. I've never messed with it. Let's just go ahead and hit continue. We're on step two of five. It's looking for any programs that you may have to shut down before you can kill it. Notice this says explore, kill it. I'll say kill or kill all. And that deletes my whole background, but that's part of 7-Zip's uh, thing. It, it involves your entire computer. And I'm going to say, okay, now that they're all cleared, I'm going to say, continue. Step four, leave the choices. Continue. Here, begin uninstallation of 7-Zip. Tells you how much space it takes up, some other information. And it's 5 of 5, I'm going to say, begin uninstallation. And here it goes. It always pops it up to the right corner. And then it asks me, do you want to install it from here? And I'll say yes, uninstall it. And it will run for a minute, or a few seconds actually. It says it's uninstalled, hit close. 
Now we look over here and this fills in saying, okay, we've done our part in bulk crap on installer, but there might be more. Let's hit, we don't want to put it to sleep. We just want to say, I've never understood why you'd want to put your computer to sleep, but you could. I'm going to hit close and watch. Do you want to look for leftovers? Yes, we do. And I'm going to say, remember the choice. Yes. So now it's looking through the computer for other things that at this point, Windows would have left on the computer at its uninstall. That's why this and Revo uninstaller are much better choices than the Windows uninstaller. It says, okay, I found these three things. You want to uninstall them? Yes, delete the selected. They are selected. I'm just going to say delete. I've never had to pick and choose. It always chose well of what to install. Do you want to create a restore point in the registry? I don't, but if you want to be safe, you can say yes. I'm going to say remember my choice, but don't create. I live on the razor's edge. And also, this is a temporary computer. Watch my little 7 zip icon. Oop, it just disappeared. It's scanning files again for any changes. There's 7 zip at the top. And watch it vanish. There we go. It's gone. Now let me show you how to install multiples. I'm going to do all of these. So Google Chrome is right here. I'm going to uninstall that. Uh, LibreOffice is right here. I'm going to check that checkbox. So I've got two so far. Uh, Google Chrome. Whoops, I don't. I've got Google Chrome and LibreOffice. I'm going to choose Malwarebytes. Now, by the way, I wouldn't uninstall 7-Zip. I wouldn't uninstall Chrome. I wouldn't uninstall LibreOffice if I didn't use Microsoft Office. That's a great replacement, and it's free. Malwarebytes, I leave on my machine, too. So I'm just showing you what you could do. Now, don't uninstall Microsoft Edge. I'd leave that on the computer because things could go a little whack-whack if you do that. But I can uninstall Opera. So there's everything I want to uninstall. And notice it gives you a legend for things over on the right. And I want to go ahead and uninstall all of these. So I've checked them all. And I'm going to hit uninstall. It lists all of them. Next, if you remember, it's going to tell me what I need to shut down, if anything. And we'll wait. Malwarebytes needs to be shut down. So I'm going to say kill it. It's running on the machine. It wipes it out. Notice that time it didn't change the screen or anything because it's just shut it down. Not like uh, the other one that was tied into the system. I'm going to say continue. Again, I'm just going to accept the defaults and hey, say continue. Here are all the things it's going to uninstall. It tells me how much space I'll save. Begin. Now this will take a little longer than it did before. And it might stop on each one and it might say, are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes. Next. Uh, do I want to modify, repair, or remove? I want to remove LibreOffice. Great program. I highly suggest it if you don't want to pay whatever it is this week for Microsoft Office. Next. Remove. So we'll wait. The circle means it's working. Also, this means it's working. It races along to the finish line. Now, this is just un uninstalling LibreOffice. We'll wait and see what it does on the others. And you can also watch over here on the right as this shows you what's going on. Uninstalling LibreOffice is waiting on these three. So we'll see what happens as it goes along. We might speed it up a little. Removes it from the desktop because that program is no longer here. Still removing files uninstalling. LibreOffice is a large file, so it'll take it a minute. It's the largest one of the ones we have on here to uninstall, so it'll take the longest. This may take several minutes, and it does. It took several minutes to get to the finish of LibreOffice uninstall. We're going to hit finish, and the others will be much quicker, I think, because they're much smaller files. It's still working on LibreOffice. There you go. Do you sure you want to install this product? Google Chrome? Sure. Already done. Malwarebytes. I don't want to repair it. I want to remove it. I don't want to keep it. I want to uninstall it. Do I want to tell it why? No, I don't want to give it a survey. I'm just doing this as a demo. Now it's doing Malwarebytes. And then last, 
uninstall. After it finishes with Malwarebytes, it will uninstall Opera. And then we'll be back to the beginning with just BC Uninstaller left. Let's give it a minute to finish. Once it's finished, uninstall complete, done. Now it will go to select an app to open this link. Well, we'll say since we're getting rid of Opera, we're going to use Microsoft Edge. It just wants to ask us, why are we uninstalling it? See, sorry to see you go. Reinstall for free. Don't care. This is just a demonstration. Opera is an excellent application. And here it is. I'm going to say delete my Opera user data, which there wasn't any, but that's a good idea. I'm going to hit uninstall. What is your main reason? I'm fine. Reinstalling, blah, 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 uninstall. Continuing, you'll be unable to perform and browse the internet. Okay, I'm good with that. Yes. Boom, they're all gone. This is all complete. Now watch. I'm going to say close. And now it's going to look for extra files that Windows would have left on the uninstallation. Let's see how many it finds. Ooh, it breaks them down. Here's the one it found for Chrome. Here are the ones it found for LibreOffice. Here are the ones for Malwarebytes. And Opera didn't find many. So we're going to say select them all. Notice, confidence of uninstalling. Good, 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 very good. I've got it checked here to say hide items with bad confidence. Just in case they tie into other programs that are running on your computer and you don't want to mess it up. So I just leave that checked and say delete selected. Let it run. All done. Now it will open back up to show us what's there now. And if you notice, they're still checked, but they'll vanish. As soon as it finishes searching for entries. There you go. They're all done. We can pull Microsoft Edge back up. There's a BC uninstaller. And we can do File, Exit, Alt F4, or we can just go up here and click the X. I hope that helps. Showed you how to set it up, uninstall one file at a time, or do a bulk uninstall. Have a great day. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.